Adderall is a medicine normally prescribed to people with ADHD. What teens hear about this drug is that it can help you focus, study better, and that it can suppress your appetite. And for these reasons, teens normally abuse this drug to cram for tests, um, perform better in school, or to lose weight. It's reported that 1 in 10 teens will abuse Ritalin or Adderall sometime in their lifetime. The dangers of this drug include irregular heartbeats, heart attacks, and even seizures. Uh, my story started when I was in college. I had a friend who was prescribed Adderall for her ADHD, um, and I saw that she was getting pretty good grades. So I thought to myself, I, know I, I knew I really wanted to go to med school, so I thought maybe if I tried it, it would help me get better grades. Um, I knew you know, to get into med school, I would pretty much need straight A's. So I thought that it could help me. And I was smart enough to know kind of what I needed to say to the doctors to get a prescription for it. So I went in and was able to get a prescription. Um, and I thought, you know, because I was getting a prescription, I wasn't doing anything wrong. And so at first, you know, it, it helped me. I, I um, was able to kind of sit still for a while and study and cram for tests. And, you know, I did well on some tests. Um, but then I noticed that I needed more and more to get anything done. So um, I went back to the doctor and asked him to, and pretty much convinced him to move me up to a higher dose. And um, I got to the point where I was taking such a high dose that it would keep me up at night. Um, I would cram, but then, you know, the next day when I would try to remember everything for the test, I would only be able to remember about half of it. You know, it just a lot of the things were escaping me, even though I knew I went over it. Um, and then it even just, the addiction just really just, started to take over my life. I um, went back to the doctor and kept getting more prescriptions. I started going to multiple doctors, to multiple pharmacies to get it because I just couldn't really go anywhere without it. I was taking about 60 milligrams eight or nine times a day and um, a, a normal dose is about 30 milligrams once a day. So I was taking so much that it really started affecting my brain. It affected my life. I started becoming really paranoid. I would fa tape my fingertips so that I wouldn't leave fingerprints anywhere. Um, I would go outside and hallucinate and the stars would start talking to me. I would even get into these rage fits any time my parents, you know, would try to convince me not to do it anymore. And even at this point, you know, just stopping the medication was never an option for me. So, you know, I just kept going to these all these pharmacies and my parents tried to step in and they tried to get me to, you know, um, they talked to my doctor. I talked to the insurance company, made sure I wasn't filling anymore, but I just pretty much started paying cash and doing whatever I could to get the prescription. Um, when it came time to take the MCAT, I didn't get anywhere close to what I needed to to get into med school, and I pretty much ruined my hopes with that. Um, I had to go into a 12-step program to deal with my addiction and to um, deal with the mental effects as well. Um, and, you know, I started out with everything. I had hopes and dreams of med school ahead of me, and I ruined it with my addiction. Thank you for sharing your story, Kelly. Um, I have a couple questions for you. First, um, it seems like there has been, lately there's been a huge controversy surrounding Adderall. Um, people tend to think that it's considered cheating if you use Adderall um, t before you take a test and you don't mm -hmm. need it. How do you feel about that? Um, I think I would have to agree with that. If you think of it, Adderall, in the same way we think of steroids used in sports, um, it can it can be a performance enhancing drug. You know, we think of the way that athletes use steroids to get ahead in sports. You know, sometimes people are using Adderall for the same reasons to get ahead in school. They think it's going to help them. You know, to to study and to sit still and be able to cram for tests and get ahead with in that way. Um, but in the end, it really ended up hurting me. You know, it turned into addiction an addiction that. Um, that really didn't help my life and it didn't help my academics at all. All right, thank you. And um, my second question is um, that you said that you thought that it was okay because you were getting it from a doctor and that seems to be a common um, ideology that people have mm -hmm. that um, you know street drugs have, so people have such a negative opinion of street drugs as opposed to prescription drugs. Um, how do you feel about that? Um, I, yeah, I'd agree. I think even myself, you know, I thought that because I was getting it prescribed by a doctor that it was okay and it was safe, but, you know, and I think a lot of people are under the same impression where they think that anything that's prescribed by a doctor or, you know, approved by the FDA is safe when we, I've learned at least that um, these drugs are just as addicting and just as dangerous. All right, thank you.